Hello everyone, welcome to Cambridge Primary Science, stage 5, chapter number 2, life cycle of a flowering plant and today our topic for discussion is pollination. When you see the bees, butterflies and other insects on the flowers, that means they are moving the pollen from the stem and to the stigma of a flower. That, pro that is called as a pollination. That means the process by which the pollen is transferred from the stem and that is the anther, that is the male part. Okay, anther is the male part. We have discussed that. And anther male part to the stigma. Stigma is the female part of plant that enables the fertilization and form the seed. You know that. And this reproduction happen this process is called as a pollination so pollen is transferred from the male part of the flower to the female part of the flower of the same kind okay and the seeds are formed i have already with the help of fertilization the seeds are formed and when the pollen from the male organ fertilizes the ovum and insects visit the flowers because of some purpose because they get a reward of doing so and what is that reward that is the nectar okay the what is that reward? That is the nectar. And nectar is like, you know, flowers have a bright petals, strong fragrance that attract the insects and the animals. And because of that nectar, they get the nectar. Flowers have the thin, nutritious, honey-like liquid inside it. That is called as a nectar inside them. That act as a food for many insects. Okay. What they have, they have the nutritious, honey-like liquid. That is called as a nectar. And they visit the flower because of that purpose. Okay, because flowers have the bright petals, strong fragrance that attract them. Okay, bees and butterflies get pollen stuck on various parts of the bodies. When they come on the, when the, when the bees and butterflies, they go on the flower for the nectar, for their purpose to eat the food. At that time, okay, on their bodies, the pollen gets stuck while sipping the nectar from the flower. And this pollen then rubs off on a certain parts of the next flower there that they fly to. Whenever they go to another flower that Neck, uh, that pollen that's stuck on their body it gets rubs off on a certain part of the next flower so how this is how the pollination happens if the pollen is not carried to another flower if it is not stuck on their body insects body then it is not carried to the another flower the flower will probably pollinate itself it will not go to the next flower it will pollinate itself this happens when the pollen falls on the stigma of the same flower maybe it go maybe that insect come on one flower and on purpose of eating nectar drinking nectar and the pollen stick to their body and it when it go to the next flower then the pollination happens on the next flower but if it did not go on the next flower it may happen that the pollen that fell down on the stigma that is a female male reproductive organ of the same flower right so the pollination happens on the same flower also as well or to the other flower it depends so how pollination occurs in flowers that don't attract the insects by bright colors scent or nectar or offering an reward we have already discussed that so we have already discussed that that insects and bees they get attracted to the flower because of their colors petals scent nectar offering an any reward but sometimes they not get attracted. So how the pollination occurs in those flowers? Flowers with the white or the colored petals are pollinated by the insects. Bees are observed as the pollinators. Who are pollinators? Who do the pollination? That is bees. Okay, flowers with the no petals or a very small petals that are dull in color are mostly pollinated by the wind. It not that some bees will come. Bees are not attracted because there are no petals, no colors, no fragrance. So it's pollinated by the wind. So there is the agent is pollinator is the wind. And uh, when they that have colors, petals and everything, the bees are the pollinators. So plant reproduction happens through the pollination. Reproduction means like the human reproduction happens of the same kind, the human to human, the give birth, human give birth to the human. The plants give birth to the plants. That is the reproduction. So plant reproduction happens through the pollination. From where we would get all the fruits and vegetables that we eat if there were no pollination? Okay, from where we get all these things? If there is a pollination only then the same kind getting more and more reproduction happens and the fruits and vegetables, the seeds germinate and all that fruits and vegetables are coming up, right? Plants form the basis of all the food chains. So all the animals rely either directly or indirectly plants offer their food that you have discussed that plants are the basis of all the food chains. In the food chain chapter, you have discussed all that. So all the animals are dependent on the plant. They are the herb 
right plants are the you know main source of the food chain and the process of po pollination and fertilization it makes the reproduction possible because of this pollination because by the wind or by the bees or that because of this pollen get to the ovary and the egg has been formed because of this pollination and fertilization it make the reproduction possible why do insects see white flowers as a purple have you ever seen someone in the white clothes under an ultraviolet light the white seems to glow under that light but other colors do not so white flowers that reflect reflect the ultraviolet light so we can say that we cannot see the ultraviolet light but insects can okay they can see the white flower as a purple they see it as a violet or purple so white flowers look purple to them okay there are some of the common misunderstandings and misconceptions despite what is often shown in the advertisements for the allergy medicines large colorful flowers rarely cause pollen allergies or hay fever because their pollen is sticky for animal pollination and not carried in the air and wind pollinated flowers that commonly cause hay fever include grasses certain deciduous trees and certain pines so self pollinated plants also sometimes require wind or insects to provide pollination tomato plants are self pollinating but they are also pollinated by the bumblebees that vibrate the flowers greenhouse tomato flowers may need to be vibrated manually to obtain the pollination so how pollen gets to the ovary to the flower we have already discussed that also in our last parts of flower presentation that the pollen grows a long tube called the pollen tube we have seen that the pollen there are small pollen inside the anther that is the part of the stamen and it goes to the stigma that is a female reproductive part with the help of a bees and after that it goes down the tube that is the style and from the style it goes to the ovary which contains the you know egg right so the pollen grows in that tube long tube it grows down to that tube that is style called the pollen tube also down the style stalk of the carpel that is a female reproductive organ and when the tube reaches the ovary the pollen can enter the ovary and fertilize an egg and each pollen grain grows one tube okay and fertilizes one egg these are the question and answers why do flowers pollinated by insects have brightly colored scented petals and nectar because all these things are required to interact the insects why do flowers pollinated by wind have little color no petals or scent because they need to attract the insects that's why why do flowers pollinated by wind produce lots of dry pollen dry pollen is carried further in the wind so they need lots of pollen because the wind blows it's in all direction and not only on to the other flowers right it's not like that wind pollinated dry it's not like that they need a lots of pollen because wind blow in all the direction they not need the little bit of pollen because the bees take the pollen and put and sit on the other flower and the pollination happens it's easy one but with the wind which blows in all the direction they need need a lots of pollen okay how does pollination help the plant to reproduce pollination brings the male pollen to the female carpel or the stigma so that the fertilization can take place to form the seeds explain how pollination is different to fertilization pollination is when pollen is carried from the stamen stamens that is anther that contains the pollen to the stigma of a flower that is a sticky structure stigma of a flower of the same type that is pollination okay it is carried and fertilization when pollen and egg cell join together okay pollination is when it is carried from stamen to the stigma that is pollination and fertilization is when they join together in the ovary of the flower the flower must be of a same type if the fertilization is to occur and the fertilized egg becomes seeds and the ovary becomes fruit thanks for watching do like and subscribe my channel bye bye